Hi everyone, Jay Witty here. Hope y'all are having a great day. So this is a 20 by 20 stretched canvas and this is going to be my very first attempt at trying to create bolder cells. I was inspired to try this a technique and attempt for the very first time as you're gonna see here to be successful in its creation. And the inspiration came by Gina DeLuca, who is another amazing individual and artist in our community of fluid artists. Um, I have spent several, several weeks, if not months, studying her videos time and time again and trying to learn this technique. So what you see me doing here is I'm putting down a base coat of Liquitex Basics Mars Black. And what I'm going to be doing will be filling up my cup with um, a little bit of my base coat and then pouring in some of the Deco Art Americana Metallics. And I'll be doing a straight pour with a little bit of a wiggle um, onto the canvas. Now the reason I had put uh, paint down or painted off my sides and the edges of my canvas is so that when I do begin to tilt and stretch that white canvas won't show through because I'm using such a dark base color. And I'm popping air bubbles here and then I go ahead and I begin to fill up my cup. So again, I've got a little bit of the base coat in reserves and I fill that up. I've put a little bit at the bottom of the cup as that's what I'm doing with you right there. So got a little bit of the base coat in my cup and I start out by pouring in the, Ameri uh, the Deco Art Americana uh, Metallics. That first color there is their silver and then I go ahead and I fill it with pewter and then the pearl color. So again, the colors that I'm pouring into the cup are the Deco Art Americana Metallic Silver, followed by their pewter, and then followed by their pearl. And then you'll see that I top the cup off with another part of, or with uh, more of the base coat. And so my consistencies, again, I studied the, her consistencies as best I could. So the pouring medium, medium basically is I used two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then because these metallics are a little bit heavier bodied paint, I needed to thin them down to the consistency that um, I thought would be correct. So I used, again, a mixture, and this is a mixture that she uses, which is a mixture of 90% water to 10% Floetrol. And then, of course, I, I used that to thin those consistencies down. Now, the consistency of the base coat, along with the colors that I poured in, are all the same. And it's basically like a mound on a mound that does dissipate for not right away but fairly quickly so here I go and I begin to do my pour <laughs> and you can see the, pa the paint's fairly thick um, my results I did obtain some uh, boulder cells but not nearly as many as G Gina um, I think partly because maybe I wasn't pouring up from high enough. I probably needed to be a little bit higher. And then towards the end of the pour, come down closer to the canvas like you see here. Um, but I gotta tell you guys, the results that I did achieve on this just simply were amazing. So um, I do take you in at the end of the video to show you <laughs> the wet results. Unfortunately, this piece did not dry in time in order to bring you the dry results, so that will come probably in my next video. Um, but in the process of doing this, once you've gotten your puddle poured onto your canvas, one of the things that I learned from Gina is that you need to allow for the, the painting to sit for several minutes, which I did, but I cut that aspect of the video out. So I go right from 
this into directly picking up the canvas and tilting it. And again, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. It's a fairly large canvas for me. Um, <laughs> and so in the tilting process, my arms actually began to shake. Um, I don't know if it was just nerves trying this for the first time or not on such a large canvas, <laughs> but I managed. And another key factor in, in trying to obtain boulder cells is to slowly tilt the canvas. Also keeping in mind to watch which way the paint wants to go first, bringing that flow of paint um, back to center before changing direction. So the tilting on this is in real time. When I um, did my pour, that was uh, sped up a bit. So this is real time that you're seeing here. And I just took my time with it. And uh, like I said, I got a few boulder cells, but I got some really amazing results. So hopefully, Gina, if you're watching this video, you'll be able to chime in. Maybe you can see where I need to adjust and make some corrections in my next attempt. I am so grateful that I can call you a friend and that you're also... <laughs> Um, just so informative. So if you haven't already, I've included Gina's link to her YouTube channel. Please go check her out. She is not only an amazing person, she's an amazing artist. And you'll find on her channel links to uh, her other creative outlets, such as singing. She's got an incredible singing voice. And so she's got a few links to some of the videos that she's made in, in her singing career as well. So please, guys, go check her out. She's such an inspiration. So thank you, Gina, for inspiring me on this pour. And also, I'd like to thank Deco Art for their amazing product uh, with their paints. They are just simply wonderful, wonderful paints to work with. Um, so I do look forward to bringing you some more content with my attempt in creating bolder cells. Um, like I said, I didn't get as many as Gina did, would, but you know, for my first attempt, I'm pretty happy with these results. It's, it's a pretty cool, cool painting. Um, so again, I take you in for the wet results at the end. I will show you the dried results later. So all of my colors, everything that I used, the percentages and stuff are listed in the description box down below. And again, a link to Gina's channel, please go check her out. And until next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.